And next, we head back into the kitchen with Vikas Kanna, where he shows us how to make the best salmon. And let's get some food for the soul. So here we are in this amazing kitchen. And ladies, before we get started, I just wanted to say that People Magazine named Vikas the hottest chef in the world. Can you believe that? I no. mean, I think he's the hottest <laughs> chef that I've ever seen. Tell me, what are we making today? Okay, I'm glad we're talking about the food now. <laughs> for this dish, if I was in India, I would use coconut oil. Okay. It also has a high smoking point. For here, we're using a vegetable oil. To this, what we're going to do, I'm going to give you this four major ingredients which actually season this dish. Okay. Mustard seeds. So I just drop it in? Yes. It's almost one inch ginger. Approximately six to eight curry leaves. Curry leaves are extremely flavorful. One serrano chili, seeded and finely chopped. One medium onion, which has been finely chopped. Now you okay. can give it a stir. Yeah. To this we are going to add one cup of coconut milk. In India, generally, we would you use... use coconut milk? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my mom makes the best Indian food. I never enter the kitchen. <laughs> yes. This is why you need to teach me. This is why I'm here. They, they use a lot of coconut milk. Okay. I'm, I'm so sorry. But <laughs> you're so right because till the age of 17, you know, I, I grew up in Punjab. Okay. I'd never tasted coconut milk in my life. Yeah. But you know, you're talking about the world which was pre-Google. You know, right, right. So you have no information except for traveling. One cup of unsweetened. Oh, it's kind of thick too. Yes. What is that? Salt? That's salt. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make fun of I me. picked it up from a temple. I wow, love this, this is a very extravagant way to hold your salt. Hold to a salt. Oh, okay. okay, I'm spilling. So, so no do problem. I just grab a little and, yes. and just sprinkle it? And yeah, to this, you're going, I'm going to add one surprise ingredient. Pomegranate molasses. Yes, it's that it's thick. That thick. When you're going to taste this dish, this is from where all the flavors are going to come from. Oh, okay. It's going to dominate this whole dish. Got it. So, is there any um, recipe or specific tradition that your grandma or your family used to use that you still use with you till this day? Yes. It's um, every time my grandmother cooked in the kitchen, she would always breathe very well. She said, "It's the breath which connects you to God and to wow. food." Half cup of water will go in this to bring all the flavors together. Wow. You have this thick bottom pan. Okay. Approximately two tablespoons of oil. And what we're going to do is, we have a beautiful piece of bass. This is approximately five ounces. Okay. This is the safest way when you have this. At this point, I'm going to add the small containers to make this a homemade butter. Oh, it's wow. very, very high fat. A <laughs> tablespoon of butter will go in here right now. Okay. I'm adding a little saffron to it to infuse the oil with the saffron. It's used a lot in Kashmiri cuisine because it grows in Kashmir. Okay. So this is going to be interesting since I, I don't eat seafood, but I'm doing it just for you. It's an honor. <laughs> oh my god. This is amazing. This is so delicious. The fish is so tender and the flavors just pop out at you. And it doesn't even feel like I'm eating something fishy. Something fishy. I think I'm going to start eating seafood, you guys. No, seriously. Food is not everything. Relationships are. I think that's a great learning experience from a culture where you come from. Right. And the culture we live in. And eventually, it's food is something which is like the spices. It has to enhance everything around it. Yeah. Relationships, flavors, everything. And if it brings people together, then it means it's, more. It has the power then. Well, thank you so much. This was My so pleasure. much fun cooking with you. And I think that now I'm going to start eating seafood. Thanks to you. <laughs>